you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 18th monday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 2 verses 18 to 22 now john's disciples and the pharisees were fasting and people came and said to him why do john's disciples and the disciples of the pharisees fast but your disciples do not fast jesus said to them the wedding guests cannot fast while the bridegroom is with them can they as long as they have the bridegroom with them they cannot fast the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them and then they will fast on that day no one sew a piece of unstrung cloth on an old cloth otherwise the patch pulls away from it the new from the old and the worst her is made and no one puts new wine into the old wine skins otherwise the wine will burst the skins and the wine is lost and so are the skins but one puts new wine into fresh wine skins the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends the disciples of john the baptist and the pharisees fasted it was a sign of a, a deeper commitment to the service of god how come then that the disciples of jesus were not fasting in their defense jesus speaks a kind of parable the wedding feast is no time for the attendance on the bridegroom to be fast it's a time for joy and celebration jesus is clearly the bridegroom and his disciples the attendants a time will come when the bridegroom will no longer be visibly with them then there will be times when fasting will be appropriate jesus continues with another image no one uses a piece of new strong cloth to patch and hold the garment as the first sign of stress the new patch will pull and tear the week similarly no one puts new fermenting wine in old used wine skins when the wine ferments and expands expands the old skin have no more stretch and will burst the skins are ruined and the wine lost in both images jesus is saying that he and his teachings and the way he is uh, proposing cannot be judged by the old traditional standards jesus has brought about a radical shift in the ways we are to relate to god and to each other the traditional way identified with the pharisees and with the john the baptist was basically one where loyalty to god was expressed through strict observation of laws and external practices of a commitment like fasting the way of jesus is quite different it is primarily interior rather than just exterior it is ultimately rooted in relationship based on love a love that always seeks the well-being of the other if we judge what jesus does by the world ways we will have difficulties we need as paul says to have the mind of christ this is still relevant in our church today there are many who still are living their catholic life with the pharisee mindset several decades after the second vatican council there are still people who have not understood the radical shift in thinking which it introduced there is still a good deal of an individualism and saving my soul staying in the state of grace to get to heaven mentality there are people who still see in sin as primarily the breaking of the laws and rules rather than breakdown in a loving relationship with god it is possible to be perfectly orthodox affirming the doctrinal teachings of the church to the last details and yet be devoid of love in the way one's life is lived and showing very little concern for the needy of this world the new wine of jesus teaching needs to be contained in a new wine skin and part of the problems of the church in certain parts of the world where christians are falling away can be traced to our unwillingness to let go of our old wine skins amen may god bless us